Good evening, I'm in Baker, and we bring you a breaking story that has sent shockwaves through the city. Earlier today, the notorious gang leader, Jamal Ghost Williams, orchestrated a daring heist at the very heart of London, the Bank of England. This audacious act has left the entire nation on edge. Authorities are describing the scene as chaotic and highly dangerous. Ghost and his crew managed to infiltrate the heavily fortified bank, making off with a staggering £60 million. But it didn't end there. In a brazen display of violence, Ghost and his accomplices engaged in a deadly shootout with law enforcement, leaving multiple police officers injured and, tragically, some losing their lives. We understand that Ghost made a dramatic escape. After securing the loot, Ghost and his crew fled the scene in a high-speed car chase through the heart of London. The manhunt is in full swing. Authorities are urging the public to stay vigilant and report any sightings of Ghost or his associates. He is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Ghost has a reputation for ruthless tactics and a knack for eluding capture, making him one of the most formidable and feared criminals on the streets. The streets were transformed into a deadly battleground as Ghost skillfully maneuvered through traffic, evading police at every turn. It was a scene straight out of an action movie, leaving witnesses in shock and law enforcement in hot pursuit. Hey, yo, Ethan, what are you saying about this jewelry thing? There's this high-end jewelers in the heart of LS, worth around 10 million. Rare diamonds, the real deal. So what are you saying? When we hitting it? Hold up, Ghost. This one's gonna take a bit more planning. I want to make sure the take is worth it. We're talking about some very rare stones, and I want them all. All right, I'm listening. What's the plan? I've got a guy on the inside feeding us intel. We're gonna need to be patient on this one. The inventory is high, and I want to hit it when they've got the mother load. It might take a little longer than usual, but the payoff will be worth it. How long are we talking about? Give me a week, maybe two. I'll have all the details, and we'll move when the time is right. Trust me, Ghost, this one's gonna be big. Alright, say nothing. I'm ready when you're ready. Just let me know. You got it, Ghost. This one's gonna set us up nicely. I'll be in touch with the details. Stay sharp. Georgina Aurora, the intellectual maverick. Georgina Aurora is a woman of profound intelligence and strategic thinking. Her sharp mind and analytical prowess make her an invaluable asset to Ghost in navigating the complex and perilous world they inhabit. She possesses an innate ability to see patterns, anticipate outcomes, and devise meticulous plans that have proven crucial in their criminal endeavors. Her love for Ghost is rooted in the shared experiences and challenges they face together. Ghost values her intellect, appreciating the way she can unravel complexities and provide insight into the intricate webs of the criminal underworld. Georgina Aurora's loyalty stems from her deep understanding of Ghost's motivations and a recognition of the bond they forged through adversity. In Ghost's world, where decisions can mean life or death, Georgina Aurora is the cerebral force that helps him stay one step ahead. She is his confidante, advisor, and the strategic mastermind behind many of his successful operations. Juanita Mama the compassionate idealist. Contrasting with the analytical mind of Georgina, Aurora, Juanita Mama is characterized by her boundless compassion and unwavering belief in the possibility of positive change. She sees the world through the lens of hope and strives to make a difference, even within the shadows of the criminal landscape they inhabit. Her love for Ghost is rooted in the belief that, despite the darkness surrounding them, there is room for redemption and a chance to create a better life. Ghost is drawn to her warmth, and her unwavering commitment to saving the world, she adds a unique layer to their dynamic. 
Juanita Mama's role in Ghost Life is as the moral compass, reminding him that amidst the chaos, there is room for humanity. Her big heart serves as a counterbalance to the harsh realities they face, infusing moments of tenderness and empathy into their crazy world. Together, Georgina, Aurora, and Juanita Mama complement each other in ways that enrich Ghost Life. Georgina Aurora's intelligence provides the strategic backbone, while Juanita Mama's compassion offers a reminder of the world's possibilities beyond the shadows. In their own distinct ways, both women contribute to Ghost's journey, making him not only a formidable force in the criminal underworld but also a man grappling with the complexities of love, loyalty, and the pursuit of something greater. In the intricate tapestry of Ghost Life, there were two distinct threads, woven from different origins but converging in the sprawling cityscape of Los Santos. Georgina, Aurora, his longtime companion from the gritty streets of London, and Juanita Mama, a passionate soul hailing from the Vagos territory, a rival gang of ghosts. Fate, it seemed, had a curious sense of humor as it brought these two women together in a collision of worlds. Ghost, ever the orchestrator of his own narrative, decided to bridge the gap between these two essential facets of his life. He orchestrated a meeting, carefully balancing the scales of emotions and expectations. As the two women locked eyes for the first time, the atmosphere crackled with unspoken questions and uncharted territories. Georgina, Aurora, from London's harsh pavements, and Juanita Mama, a product of the Sunsoak Vagos alleys, found themselves thrust into each other's orbit by the enigmatic force that was Ghost. However, the day unfolded with surprising ease. Ghost, the maestro of charm, guided the conversation with a deft touch. The three of them shared laughter, stories, and even the subtlest of glances that hinted at the complexity of their situation. Over the months, the initial wariness gave way to a cautious camaraderie. In an unexpected twist of fate, the tension that initially defined them transformed into a delicate balance. Ghost had successfully navigated the intricacies of two worlds colliding, forging a powerful bond between the women who shared his affections, Georgina, Aurora, and Juanita Mama found themselves entangled in a unique dynamic. Under the sun-kissed skies of Los Santos, Ghost's Malibu Mansion 7709 became a shared sanctuary for the two women. Ghost, the center of this love triangle, navigated the complexities of his romantic entanglement, each day unfolding a new chapter in the saga of his intricate relationships. In the heart of the city's chaos, Ghost and his two loves sought a fragile equilibrium, striving to coexist against the odds that history and circumstance had stacked against them. Miss me. You know I miss you. Why you look going on like that? You're the one who can't control your girl. She got a problem with me just looking around. Like, chill out. Why Aurora gotta say that? She's just looking out for me. You. Us. Come, mommy. You can't be mad at me forever. Forever. Maybe not, but right now, I'm pissed. I don't need drama ghost. I got enough in my life. Mama. We can work through this. Work through this. I shouldn't have to deal with this drama. I'm not some puppet in your little love triangle ghost. I fully understand what you're saying to me, you know, mommy. Come home and we can sort it out. Home. This ain't my home ghost. I'm not gonna sit around and be glared at every time I look at another dude. I am not fucking them. I can't deal with this. You better talk some sense into her ghost. I ain't gonna be played. I got my own life, and I don't need no drama. Figure it out, or it's over. Alright, I'ma sort it out. You at least gonna roll out with me today. Come on, man. Okay, Poppy. Alright. I'm seeing now. Setting up a lot of scenes. A lot's been happening. It's like the game don't pause for nobody. The deal I put on the, the Walk of Fame. And man laid him out because I got a text message. I'm halfway across the map. I got a text message saying my dealer got bodied, fam. I had to go and pick up a bag. I didn't even get to the bag. I lost that dealer. But I 
I found two more though. So what we're gonna do quickly, we're gonna circle a couple of dealers and pick up some money. Cause money's kind of low right now, for me. Trust me. Start off out here. It's I'm working. You see what man's working. Man's in the hundreds of thousands. I understand. Eight hundred bucks. We'll pick up some money and see this guy. Back to the yard. Ooh, too close. Pull out the Valar today still. Hey yo mommy, wait here, let me go and see what you see. Hey yo cuz. What? You saying what Money you got, family. You got any food on you? You got nothing. You need to get reloaded. Pick up some food and come back and circle you. 290 bags. Let me take that. Soon come, fam. Millions, a millionaire again. <laughs> Let me go and check. Let me go and check my girl. Three hundred bags. More food. Yeah, that. What do you have? A hundred. Hundred ounces of everything. Hey, my girl, are you on the bush line? Okay. How much money you got? No food, yeah. 190 bags, that's what 100 of everything does. Alright. Come and give you some more food. Big bits in a minute. Got two close together. These two need to get moved still, you know. Men are too close together because they lock down the city. Come, 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 come. It's pure traffic out here as well. Because one of the dealers man's got is a Jewish man family. Outside the gun store, sorting out some shits. See a bag of Jews on the corner. I went over there to see what was popping. My man shot in food, fam. Rabbi, I'm talking. <laughs> Man's got the Jews working for us now, cause he were moving up out here. You understand? <laughs> you understand? gets moving it's, it's kind of nippy still it's pushing trying to push through them gears see the rabbi out here cuz look check the shit out it's the funniest shit in the world cuz hey yo fam how are things with you good still you know how much money you got cuz 108 let me take that 180 bags. How much food you got? Oh shit, there's. Oh shit. Hey, I need to move, man. Map just lit up. Work out here. How's it going? Yeah, man, it's up on the right like this.
Hey, man. Brakes on his pill. Shit, stop. Set me up. Dealers in the middle of the road. Fuck. Put you on a corner, stay on that corner, fam. That's what my girl saying. Feisty Latina. Hey, yo, Rosa, what are you saying to me? Wait a sec, mama. ¿Cómo estás? What are you saying to me, Rosa? How much money you got? Hey, hey, bags, Rosa. You got pure food on you. What are you dealing with out here? Hey, give me that. Move that food, Rosa, man. What are you dealing with? Belly on you as well. Adios. Hey, yo, Juanita, you coming home or what? If you ask me nicely, I might. Mama, can you come home, please? Okay, Papi. All right. <laughs> Money up. Got the crew on my case, they wanna to move to our next bank. I ain't really moving unless Ethan gives the green light still. I wanna make sure it's fat. So I'm just gonna have to hold it down. Money's low, I need to reload my dealers fast. He's going to yell, I see him come. Quita de la pastilla y mañana buscaremos más medicina. ¿Qué pasa con el fame or shame? Bueno, muy bien, muy bien, papá, muy bien. Papá, tengo que irme. Hey, Juanita, can we talk for a moment? Okay, sure, Aurora. What's on your mind? I've been thinking a lot, and I need to apologize. I know things have been tense between us, and I want you to know that I'm truly sorry if I've made you uncomfortable or hurt you in any way. It's okay, Georgina. We're all navigating this together. No, I need to say this. I care about you, Juanita, a lot. And I realized I might not have shown that as much as I should have. I want you to know that I love you, and I respect what we have together. Aurora, I appreciate that. I know we're all in this together, and I'm figuring it out too. I want us to be on the same page, Juanita. Ghost means the world to both of us, and I don't want anything to come between us. I want to support you, and I want us to be a strong team. I appreciate that, Georgina. I love Ghost, and I want what's best for him too. We'll figure this out together. Good. I'm here for you, Mama. I want us to be a family in every sense of the word. I love you, 
and I hope you can forgive me if I've ever given you the wrong impression. No hard feelings. Let's focus on what matters most, being there for Ghost and each other. Hey yo ladies, I'm gonna drop 50 bags for you to do some shopping. What are you saying? 50 bags each? 50 bags each? Why you need 50 bags each, babe? We you buying cars? Putting down payment on houses? I know you ain't buying clothes because the person that made you didn't make no fucking outfits for you. Why you need 50 bags each? <laughs> Stop mocking me and just give us some money. Ghost, you know you want your audience to think you're a boss. So? So drop the 50 each then, big man. Just cool, babes, man. You had me at 50 bags each, man. Hey, yo, you, man, you listening? See these two, these two are part of me, and this ain't no regular job you're doing right now, you know, cause you understand? Make sure nothing happens to them. If they have to run, duck for cover, if they break a fucking nail, I'm gonna call Zanowski, I'm gonna buy two of them Russian fighter jets, we call them MiG-31s, and I will level the city. You understand? I will raise this thing from the earth. Don't play with me. Alright. Hey Aurora, are you listening? No shooting, you understand? These men are here to protect you, let them do their job. Alright Ghost, no shooting, okay. Alright. Yeah cousin, let the girl them do their thing. What are you saying to you? Don't play with Aurora, you know. Aurora got a gun on her fam. I don't let the pretty face and the soft voice fool you. And she will blow your brains out and leave you on the side of the road. The girl dangerous. I understand. Hey yo, on the subject of Aurora though fam. Different. I'm looking for a black girl to put in the game to play Aurora. Fam, they ain't making no black girls. They got white girls for days. Japanese, Chinese, Korean things for days. E they got fucking Indian things for days because they got no black girls. Especially not the ones we want to see anyway. Fucking looking for long to find this Aurora thing because I find the thing, the thing ain't got no outfits. So right now I got two black girls I'm working with. It's like when they're making them, they ain't making no outfits for them, family. So I got two black girls right now. They're both gonna play Aurora, you understand? When I find more, they, like, you might see Aurora change. Just know that it's still Aurora, cousin. You understand? Because there's some variation up in here. Fucking Juanita got all sorts of fucking clothes, accessories, glasses, shoes, colors, hairstyles. It's nuts. And make, the man ain't making the black girls like that, cousin. Hard to find. So when I find them, I'm just gonna throw them in. Aurora, Aurora might change a couple of times, but just know that's her. Be honest. I'm supposed to take Juanita to the gun range. She don't really like guns still, but she's learning. Be honest. What man's gonna do? Man's gonna pick up some food. Doing a lot of shit still. Move the stash house to the penthouse. <laughs> I put food up in the penthouse, fam. No one's not supposed to be coming here. Them two had a little argument. She stayed up in the penthouse because he hope she didn't see the food in there. She'll spaz out. I put the food in the penthouse. Reload up the dealers, then you understand. The stash house. Our man can put food in the penthouse. You understand? Put it in here. You know, she will put it in my side of the cupboard so she can't find that shit. Still, you know, family. Just stay at seven seven zero nine. What's wrong with you, girl? Oh, 
but it's the multiply. We ain't got time. We never got time. Come, come, come with it. I'm taking everything, Carl. Ethan can just reload the thing. You understand? Come with it. reload these dealers I might have to phone the javelin still the javelin's got a little connect for me you understand you got the got the location on certain crews where they're hanging out at. I might can just roll on two crews you got a parachute out here like that the fuck's man doing out here Let's give them man some food. Give them, them women some food. Oh my God. Two dealers too close together. I need to move them. Javelin fam, get the location on two crews and roll on a boy. You understand? Man's telling me the Vargo's supposed to be having a funeral. There's supposed to be a couple of generals and captains out there. I'm gonna see if we can pick some of them man off. You understand? I'm gonna get the cool still. Hey, yo, you know what I'm saying to you now? Why are you like this bush? What, what's what's with you in this bush? You breathing okay? You see your bay up here. Under the tree or something. Come here. Hey, how you doing? Sweet. Give me five hundred of everything. Boom. 500 ounces of everything. Let me see what that does. Do your thing. Family. What's your fucking problem? Guys, what are you saying? You've been hustling hard. You're due for a bonus, still, you know, big man. That's who you are. Boom, you got 500 ounces of everything, friend. Honestly, you see what that does. Is here now. Easy, big man. These two dealers here now. The men are too close together. They need to get separate. They need some coverage on the city. Still might have to fuck with Zenosi, can't. I'm setting up scenes. I'm here, man, walking up to me, cuz they're telling me my, my rep ain't high enough. It's either I need to link Zanolski or I need to post up somewhere and start leaking off some shots. Figure it out. I don't really want to buy food of him. I got mad food right now. I'm seeing enough dealers, man, to tell me I need more rep. If I can get rep, is to fuck with this Zanolski, brother. You get in the fucking car. 
You are super annoying, big. Always in the middle of the Ross Clark Street. Get in the car. Where are we going to put you? I'm going to put you on the spot. Ah, oh, because there's man out there. Like, you're going back to where I had the fucking triad, fam. Man out there on the walk of fame, cause you're that guy. You understand? You have a gun on you to check your stats, still, you know. Easy, Villa. Come, come, come. What are you doing? You listen to what I'm saying to you. I'll show you to you. What do you got? Six fifth. I ain't giving you no food still since I hired you anyway. So let me take the six fifth. Look what you're going to take. You're going to take 500 of everything. Working out here. It's pure tourists out here. Shit, Vargos. Act quickly. I take that. And work out here. Yeah? Got beef coming up. Link that I have a dealer now. Got him on the walk of fame. This Jewish brother I need to give some food to. Is that him there? Go and link the rabbi and see what the rabbi is dealing with. Shit. Gyro. Hey, rabbis out here. See them? They were out here before, I swear to God. Hey, yo, cuz. How are you? I'm alright, you know. Let me give you some food. I need you to move 500 of everything. 500 of everything. I want to see what that do. How's business? Because I ain't giving you no food since I hired you still. Let's see what you can do for me, dude. I take that. You got money. You got money, cousin. Oh, let me take that. I say no. I do your thing. Take care. Cool, cuz. If them man can get my wonder if them man can get rid of my record down in London. You understand? Jewish connections. Talk to the rabbi and see what he's saying. That's not even checking Rosa. Rosa's got the belly on. Time I went to Rosa, Rosa, the money's low and you got pear food. Like what are you doing out there? Show. 
gonna phone the javelin and see if he can give me the drop on these pricks. Hey, the contractor saying there's a crew man can go and move to right now. See what they're dealing with. Get a drop on man, you understand? Pink's out here, the javelin don't play. The javelin knows where everybody is all the time, man. Soft out here. Razos here. Bati boys. I'm gonna head back to Malibu Mansion. Seven seven zero nine. See what the ladies are saying. Might go and hit a club tonight. Still. We'll see what the ladies saying. If they want to hit a club tonight. Gonna head back to 7709. Wait, wait, wait. I'm bursting after me because I'm really not in the mood. Who is it? Oh, it's the boy of them doing their thing. Oh, it's families. Because what is it? Hey, you man, move off. Move off, cuz. Do your thing, get out of there, family. What are you doing? Hey, yo, cuz, cuz. Shit, the family was in beef out there, cuz. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the man them had to buy them all over them. Lucky they ran into man, cuz. Go and see what the ladies are saying, see if they want to hit a club tonight. 7709.
Meet Jamal Ghost Williams, a seasoned road man from the gritty streets of Brixton, South London, known for his street smarts and sharp skills. Life in the London underworld became too hot for Ghost after a series of high-profile heists caught the attention of law enforcement. Faced with the looming threat of arrest, Ghost decided it was time to disappear. With family ties in Los Santos, Ghost saw an opportunity for a fresh start. His cousin, Tashi, had relocated to the city years ago and established herself in the bustling world of business. Seeing LS as a place to lay low and reconnect with family, Ghost packed his bags leaving behind the familiar chaos of London's underworld. As Ghost arrives in Los Santos, he quickly realizes that the city has its own share of challenges and opportunities. Drawn into the fast-paced life of the LS gang scene, Ghost's street instincts kick in as he navigates the dangerous landscape of rival gangs, corrupt officials, and ambitious criminals. The YouTube series London Heat to LS Streets follows Ghost's journey as he tries to build a new life while grappling with the shadows of his past. Will he be able to leave behind the ghosts of London and carve out a place for himself in the sun-soaked streets of Los Santos, or will the sins of his past catch up with him in this new, chaotic playground?